Welcome to Indiana News Desk. I'm Joe Wren. The number of teens working a part time job has significantly decreased since the late 1970s. Education experts say a part time job can give students a competitive edge when it comes to college admissions, but they're also expected to volunteer, participate in clubs, all while keeping their grades up. My colleague, Lindsay, Lindsay Wright, joins us now with more. Lindsay. Thanks, Joe. And that's right. Students in high school are often involved in so many activities that it makes adequately focusing on school and college admissions difficult. Data shows that working a part-time job while in school can actually be an advantage for some students, but it's a balancing act. There's no wasted space in Nicole Clee's locker. This is my AP Chem binder. Um, it doesn't fully fit in it. <laughs> it doesn't fully fix. It's too big. <laughs> Clee is a junior at Franklin Central. She has a full schedule. She's a soccer player, participates in student council, and takes several advanced classes. I keep my chemistry notes in the back. The course load is trying at times, but it pays off. The 16-year-old is ranked 38th out of more than 700 in her class. But Clee recently wanted to add another thing to her plate, a part-time job. I think there's a lot of people who feel pressured to get jobs so that they can pay for a car and to go out and do things. Her parents offer her money, but for Clee, it's about independence. Ultimately, though, it just wasn't doable. When Clee really looked at it, there simply weren't enough hours in the day. You don't have time for all of that, and you need to pick things that are important to you and things that will help you in the long run. And For me, that was sports and school. The challenge is clear. Clee is just too busy. Although some students don't have an option and need an income or to save for college, studies show Clee isn't alone. 75% of teens were working jobs in the 1970s. That dropped to around 55% in 2014. Tim Siegert, the director of counseling, says students are busier than ever and preparing for the next level is getting more rigorous. And because those, those uh, admission standards are getting more stringent, um, parents are even saying, we want you focused more on taking a heavier course load, focusing more on extracurricular activities too, whether it be a sport, band, uh, volunteer service. Siegert says there are clear pros and cons to teens working part-time jobs. Colleges are looking for well-rounded students, and working a part-time job shows good time management and discipline. In turn, a student's academics can suffer. But data shows college undergrads who work 20 hours or less are more likely to have a higher GPA. If you work, you know, closer, over 20 hours, then it is a challenge. Uh, less than 20 hours, it may be an advantage. The key is balance, and officials say there are other ways besides working to acquire the skills college admissions are looking for. What you need to do is find a way to distinguish your academic career by other supplemental experiences that say who you are and what you're committed to doing and what kind of a student or what kind of an employee you would be. This right here is our game field. Clee's mom, Shane Long, logs a lot of time on the soccer fields watching her daughter play. She says her daughter regularly spends up to 12 hours a day at school, sometimes more. And she learns respect. She learns um, multitasking. She learns all of those things in school and on the soccer field. Higher education officials say instead of working a job, high schoolers can try to align their activities with what they want to do in the future. The problem, though, it's rare that a high schooler knows that answer. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Lindsay Wright. School officials say that over time, they've noticed parents have been more involved in the decision of whether or not their child should get a part-time job. Many push focusing on schoolwork, which could play a role in the lower number of teens getting jobs. But Joe, there are so many factors that play into this topic. There's really no right or wrong answer. Every student's situation is different. All right. Thank you very much, Lindsay. You're welcome.